Hello everyone. My name is Ubed and I'm technical support engineer for Havamina with Sun Group. And today I'm very, very excited about the topic entrance ANPR solution. What is ANPR? Anybody heard of this technology before? Okay, let me tell you. Uh, ANPR means automatic number plate recognition. How it works? Like the car come and our camera will take picture of its number plate and try to read it and give you the record. So you can create thousands of applications to use this NPR solution. You cover uh, parking lot management, you can cover it for uh, vehicle management, you can cover it for many different applications for entry and exit points. Because wherever you go today, there is an entrance and exit for vehicles. If vehicles are allowed to enter in this area, it can be a building, it can be a tower, it can be a mall. So many applications we can create for this solution. Okay. Let's get started with this. Uh, what we can expect from today's lesson, today's training. After learning this presentation, you will be familiar with how our NPR products and you can create the NPR management, how we can create solution, how we can create the construction site, how we can survey the construction site. And uh, I will share my opinion and my ideas about ENPR solution where we can install it and uh, how to configure it, how to make the best possible use of this ENPR devices with possible best ideal configurations. So today's session, I'm really very excited to share this uh, information with you. So, Presentation is uh, divided in four parts. First is system overview. I will show you the topology, how it works, and basic construction. Second, we will talk about installation challenges, how to deal with the challenges, and how to make the installation perfect so that we can create result-oriented uh, solution. Third is our configuration part. Configuration part, I will show you how to configure devices and uh, some part I will show on my screen. I will sit down and uh, let you one slide we will see, and then we will go to the live scenario. And I will show you in the platform how to do this step. Okay, so that not only the handouts available for you, we will do the practical of the software part also. Okay, so maximum part I will try to explain on the software part, and uh, the presentation is just to give you overview and uh, make your knowledge about EMPR solution and how to create things so, so that uh, we can generate a very good uh, entrance exit solution. Okay. System overview, if we talk about the topology, only few devices are required for simple solution. Like for example, if you have one entrance gate or two, one entrance gate and one exit gate, only this solution, what you will recommend to the customer? Firstly, we have barrier. It can be a Dhaba barrier. Also, it can be integrated with our uh, camera. And also, we can use third-party barrier also for this application. Then we have connectivity part. It can be with switch. It can be any medium like Cat6 or fiber or wireless medium. We can create the application. Then we have VTO part. VTO part is very important for if we are uh, our vehicles are not registered or we have some guests or visitors, cars coming in the building. So we can create that uh, the visitor will come and he will press the button and this, this will create a call in the operator room and then operator will confirm some information like where you want to go, who you want to meet. Then he will open a barrier for you manually from the control room. So video is very useful for this solution. And then we have DSS client for centralized management of multiple cameras, multiple entrance and exits and uh, manage the data, manage the records, and see the live real-time information coming from camera to the operator room. Okay? So these are the parts of uh, simple topology. Now I will talk about installation part, which is very tricky and very important and critical part of this uh, whole solution. If you get this part right and you construct your um, solution with the ideal position, ideal scenarios, then we can, the configuration is just like a toy. 
for you to play around with the computation is very easy. If you have done Excel this part, you have Excel at least 70 to 75% of your uh, project. You have controlled it. Installation guide. Installation guide, there are uh, three or four parts you need to remember. First part is camera installation. Camera installation position and the height. Of course, when you are going to install sideways, you need to remember that the height is too low so that nobody can touch it. So you need to prepare in advance that the location you are choosing is not approachable easily. Okay? So, what happened is uh, for the installation, we recommend 1.2 meter pole. 1.2 meter pole is installation, and the installation is very easy. Uh, like you, another IPC you install is same as NPR. So 1.2 meter is the installation height. Second thing, the width of the road should not be greater than 3.5 meters. So lane should be in the range of 3.5 meter or less, or one car at least. So this is the second recommendation. Third is that the snapshot trigger point, like the camera distance and the vehicle distance when it captured should be not greater than four meter. Minimum the, uh, the best because the pixel will be more better, okay? So four meter is the ideal position to capture the number plate and get the results for the camera, okay? So always remember, you cannot exceed more than four meters for the camera to the capture point, the trigger line basically. Okay, so fourth part is that when you are creating this scenario, when it is constructed, then you have to adjust the position of the camera in a such a way that the number plate is horizontal to the scene, to the camera. When it is horizontal, then it comes for the pixels, uh, plate pixels how many pixels it can contain in that region. So the best part you can see here in this uh, 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 recommended our uh, uh, regional plate sizes, which is like for European, UK, and Turkey, and Israel, single row plate is width is 130 and 180, 130 to 180, and the double row is 70 to 100. Pakistan, in the Pakistan market, mostly is double uh, meaning that uh, one English digit is upside and down is the uh, number. So for that capacity, we can also support our algorithm to do the recognition. But make sure that your angle and the distance is correct and the pixel size is last part when you have constructed this and turn on your camera and then you take a picture, go to the paint and see the pixels of your uh, number plate. If it is in this range, then it's perfect for you. These are four parts when you are doing construction part. First is height, again, 1.2 meter. The width of lane is 3.5 meter or less. And uh, for camera point to uh, the car point should be not greater than four, four meter. Four meter for, this is for standard length. If you want more behind, and the picture will be a little blurry or maybe the pixel will be less, so you need to change the model and the lens size should be increased so that you can trigger from longer distance, okay? That option is also available in Hava. So we do have these cameras also. But for now, we are, because uh, focused on uh, entrance and exit points, they are almost this, uh, uh, this uh, four meter is enough for, for this application. So second part is the connections. A normal anchor camera, the connection are same as like you can turn it on on PoE and uh, give the IP and some other things are same as same IP. But uh, for when it comes to the barrier, integration with the barrier, our ITC camera has two or three relays options in different models. Mostly are two relays. So one relay we can connect to the barrier opening. But always remember there are two types of barrier. One type of barrier it has only one relay. One relay, when it triggered, it open. Same relay, then again trigger, it will close. Don't use that kind of barrier in this application. Otherwise, you, have, you, may, you may have some consequences because 
when uh, first time the car come one car come it open second car come it will down so because relay is one in the barrier so always choose those kind of barriers which has two triggers two relays one for open one for close two separate relays not one relay one relay is not recommended in this application we have tested that barrier in pakistan also we face some consequences so we change the barrier now okay so barrier connection is very simple the relay which is uh, connected to opening of the uh, opening of the barrier just connect that barrier plus point to the uh, plus of the relay input of the camera and the barrier common should be connected to the uh, green wire of uh, our relay out uh, relay input of our camera okay so sorry relay output of the camera so this is how we make the connection for the barrier if you don't understand no worries you can contact us contact us anytime for this kind of help if you are using some new barrier or it has different wiring style so we can discuss we can you can send us the detail and we can get back to you anytime so what happens is that when the number plate is triggered by the camera, it will output to the barrier and the barrier will output. Okay? This, this connection can be verified from the camera side and uh, we have the procedure to test it. I will show you in the next slide. Now is the configuration part. For the configuration part, I may uh, sit down and show you closely because uh, this part is little uh, the pictures are a little smaller, so I can expand and I can explain you more on the screen. You can uh, see on the screen, big screen. This is the process we will discuss in order. Same order you will follow, you will be able to configure all the things. Okay. First is our camera part. Camera part is like a setting of image, drawing the rule. Then we can create the list for blacklist uh, cars, number plate, and whitelist, which are allowed to enter in the premises. Okay, like staff vehicles, VIP vehicles, and then we have black blacklist vehicles like stolen or violated. So we can create two different lists. We will show here uh, in this configuration. Second part is to configure VTO. When uh, some unregistered vehicle come, it will be uh, it will have uh, like. They, they have to press the button on VTO and it will generate call to the control room and control room what guy will ask, uh, okay, where you want to go, who you want to meet like this and uh, open the barrier manually. We will do configuration second time. Uh, secondly, we will do the configuration of VTO. How, we, uh, how to configure VTO to deal with our platform, okay? Then we have DSS Express. DSS Express part, I will show everything to you real time here i will show you on uh, my laptop and i will do the basic configuration and to show you that uh, how to do things because only image and pictures cannot help you to make your notes so this hands out i will give you for just a reference and uh, then i will show you on my screen how to do actually uh, these functions work make make them working how to make them we will uh, open one slide and uh, read the topic and then we will go to the DSS Express real time in my laptop and I will show you how to do this slide. Okay. ITC configuration part. There are three to four things need to be remembered. First is like, it's an NPR camera is also IP camera. So you need to just uh, 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 initialize the camera first. Uh, the initialization purpose is same as other cameras you use before uh, in Dava uh, because now we have baseline. So every time you first time log in, you need to uh, uh, initialize it, change the password and the IP address, everything. Uh, that steps are simple. But when you log in first time, it will show live view same as a normal camera. But you need to configure ANPR rules. So you need to configure click on configure LPR. LPR means license plate recognition. So we have, when you open this, then this screen will pop up. Now we will discuss about this. What is this configuration? Firstly, you will see, uh, I, if I zoom in so that you can clearly see. Okay, this is autofocus function for like uh, clearing the camera. Um, if image is blurry, you can zoom in or slightly change the fine tune the focus. 
so that uh, you can see the clear pictures. Now this part is uh, important for us. When you uh, log in the camera, you must configure LPR first, okay? There are three types of line in this scene, in configuration, in rule, red, green, and yellow, okay? So what is red line? This red area shows that it is a detection region. Detection region for what? So detection region is what? Um, when car come into this red zone, it will start its engine. It will start its algorithm to implement. So this red line is to detect the vehicle. And this green part, green line, is trigger point. When car come into the red zone, it means that it will, like, it will activate the brain of the camera. Then when the car hit this green line, it will take snapshot. And then what happened is that it will uh, send this picture to the, for processing and it will uh, complete your OCR procedures. Excuse me, my camera is stuck. Oh, it's better. Uh, so I was telling you about the uh, this uh, detection area. So detection area camera has a red line. Red line is rectangular box. When car come, it will detect the car and it will activate the algorithm. When it is, uh, the car hits this green line, it will trigger the snapshot. And uh, the, this yellow part is the shield area. If uh, the car has another car in the same time, then it will protect to reduce the performance. It will capture one by one, okay? So this is the idea of the configuration for uh, the LPR rule. And one part to remember is that this green line should be one third of the scene from the bottom. If you see, this, this green line should be one third of the picture, the total scenario, okay? So this is the thing to remember. And always remember to, uh, uh, the, the card number plate should be parallel to the camera, horizontal, horizontal towards the camera so that it can generate good results, okay? When you are done with the configuration, just click okay and uh, then come back to the uh, click this button again and select this ANPR receive to test the result. When you click the ANPR and the, then you pass the car and you see the results. If the results are not okay, then you can come back to this region and redraw the uh, red zone and green line trigger point. It should be mid and the, it should, the, the green line should be one third of the bottom of the image, one third position on the downside of the image, okay? The, from green line to here should be one third remaining part of the image, one third, okay? Then we have, uh, when we have configured and tested the NPR is working and the number plate started to come in the real time, then we have to configure the barrier settings. For barrier settings, we need to go to the settings, then we have to go for ITC, then we have to click on black white list. Here we can configure our blacklist and whitelist number plates and uh, we can easily manage the list. We can uh, uh, create the, 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 the number plate which is blacklist or whitelist. But in scenario where you are using DSS Express from the platform, then no need to make this list from here. We will configure, we will, I will teach you how to configure the whitelist and blacklist from the DSS Express. Okay, but if you are not using DSS Express, then you can use our NVR 5216, but then you have to, either you can create the list from camera, either you can kind of create the list from NVR 5216, okay? When you click on the barrier control, there are several barrier opening conditions from here. If you enable it, enable means that now it's ready. 
then you you have control type control type if you select control type whitelist it means that when you are camera recognize the number plate from whitelist which is already in the database then what will what will happen it will open the barrier this will not every time you can use okay then we have another option control type every trigger from the camera like motion it will open the barrier any alarm it will open the barrier okay then we have another control type every plate just it have to recognize the plate number doesn't matter it is in the white list or not it will open the barrier this can be also an application for example where uh, we have residential areas and societies housing societies they use this kind of that every number plate they just need to know uh, if the visitor cars are coming or the other cars are coming they have to just follow the records that's it and uh, then we have control type order server if you need to configure it with dss express then you need to select this option order server order server check and then you need to give the server ip dss express ip for uh, configuration when you enter dss express uh, server ip and then you can have the option to configure the relays open configuration is relay one relay two or relay three you need to uh, you you need to remember when when you are doing the configuration with the barrier uh, connections uh, which relay you are using for opening which relay is using for uh, uh, the closing of the barrier so you have two barriers so uh, you have two connections one relay for open one is for close relay one is uh, the opening for in this scenario and the signal duration how long the relay should latch this uh, 1000 millisecond in one second one second i think is not enough so maybe two second or three second if the uh, two not too many cars but if too many cars then your your barrier signal should be one second is enough okay but make sure don't forget the safety precautions for the barrier because barrier if you are using from third party you need to ensure that it has all the safety in care because sometimes vehicle pass and stop it should not fall down on the uh, the car so uh, the safety precautions is very important from the barrier side also okay then closing of the barrier is also connected to the relay too as i mentioned before you must uh, have two relay barrier system otherwise if you have one relay this relay is triggered then how can it trigger again when car pass either you should have a loop loop detector so that the number plate is recognized is okay with video mode then when the car passes the passes the barrier there should be one loop so that it can trigger the barrier is off or you can also use the automatic barrier time from the barrier side so how my, how, uh, how much time barrier should up and then come to the downside okay so this is the barrier configuration and i hope that you understand now the barrier configuration no the third part is video configuration video configuration if you have not configured video no problem we have video lecture for that also and we will also uh, uh, arrange one training for video sip settings so for this part i will only tell you the the basic information which is needed for this entrance solution okay you need to log in your video same procedure like you do the other devices initialization initialization is complete then come to the network setting when you click network setting you will find sip server sip server is important setting for this solution because in our this project this scenario this application the sip server is dss express the platform itself okay when you click sip server for the first time sip server is the uh, uh, default by default it is enabled so firstly you need to disable it and then choose the server type from vto to dss express when you select dss express as your sip server now you are ready to connect with the SIP server of DSS Express. Okay, then you need to give the IP address of the SIP server, uh, which is in your case DSS Express, DSS Express uh, IP address, 
the port number is uh, usually by default 5080. If you change in your scenario, please remember that zip port. No need to change username because it's uh, the, uh, the video itself, user, uh, username assigned, and the, this password, password, no need to change. This is register password, okay? SIP domain, if you want to choose, if it should be VDP. VDP is the SIP domain now, name to recognize that domain uh, for the multiple, uh, multiple scenarios. If you have multiple buildings and multiple uh, parts, so you need to choose the SIP domain, VDP. And SIP server username is DSS Express client username, which is system or any user you want to give access to as an administrator. Uh, in this part is uh, system is the username for SIP uh, for DSS Express client and SIP server password is client password. So here you go with the DSS Express setting in the video. When you select OK, it will reboot the device and then come back online. Then it is ready to use. Remember after uh, when you choose uh, uh, SIP settings to be disabled, it will reboot automatically. So don't worry. It one time it will reboot. Now what's next? When you have configured the YouTube SIP settings, then you need to come to the main page of video local settings device to type should be villa station Co uh, villa call number need don't need to uh, in your in your scenario no need for villa uh, villa number if you have uh, apartment solution then you can configure this also building number should be uh, mentioned uh, as you are using like in my case i'm using 99 unit number 99 video number 8802 so the number of video is, if you want to call video, then you have to dial just 99 hash 99 hash 8802. This is the calling way to the video. Now, the love part of mine, DSS Express software. Very easy to understand, very easy to manage, and I will show how to run these things happen. Now, firstly, how to run the DSS Express, this slide. Remember, I am sharing another, uh, I, am, I have in my laptop, so let me share, open the DSS Express so that I can share the screen again. Okay, when you will uh, open the DSS Express server, which is like this, DSS Express server, it will run. Installation package is easy. I'm not uh, going in that detail. Just uh, we will provide you the package and you just need to double click. Just, just like you install smart PSS or other any other software is same as that. Installation is not difficult. When you have installed it, it will show you icon like DSS Express Server. Double click it. Double click, it will open and show you these services. Remember, when you are first time running this DSS Express software, it means it will show you here stop. Why? After installation. Because when you have installed it, it need one time reboot to configure the setting and services and it will adjust itself. Okay. So if it is showing here stop and other are running fine, this is important service. DSS underscore web. If it is stop, you need to reboot your PC or laptop which, uh, which you have installed this DSS. So after installation, run this again and it will start you showing this running. Now how to configure this server? Here you have information for DSS Express, the version. I am using the latest one which is just released because I'm really smart. <laughs> okay. Uh, this button is for setting of IP address. If you are using multiple IP addresses in your PC on your uh, network setting, you need to confirm that you are going to use which network. Then you select this IP and select OK. If it will restart all the services again and make you show again in few seconds, it will show all the uh, services running, OK? When all the services are running, you're good to go you need to click here, download client. 
download click client will take you to the browser and you have to uh, if I sh can show you this screen also it will show you this screen this screen will appear and you have to download client application so when your download is download is complete then what will happen I will share again uh, this is running you can minimize this and I will show you how client will work now after you install the client uh, already it will show you the, something like this okay now we are going to, good to go with DSS Express login screen by default first time login username is system and password is one two three four five six okay and one more thing you need to read now here you will use the same IP address as you configure in your DSS server app here DSS server app okay so you will add the IP address in my case is loopback IP because I'm using the same network ID as uh, I have configured already my password first time is one two three four five six but when you log in first time it will ask you to change the password and initialize the software in my case the password i have changed and it is uh, admin underscore one two three no it's logging no it's logging i need to share again because client has again the screen okay here now you will see the screen like this here you you have so many options okay you have so many options and you can explore or others but uh, right now what i'm interested in to show you uh, with the how to add npr device and with your device and how to communicate with them now we will one slide each uh, when we will discuss on the slide we will open here and share the screen for you so let's go back to our uh, pdf okay now we have done this part already and we have done uh, already reached this point okay now it's saying to us that how to configure the devices how to add them you need to click on device part okay then you need to add if you want to add manually or you have configured the same network then you need to uh, find out your devices i will show you on the other screen for dss express okay so click devices i have already uh some devices which are not working no problem we can delete them okay already deleted okay now you will see this screen in the devices point you need to add firstly we are adding npr camera we need to name it npr ip address is uh, for example one two one nine two one six eight one 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 zero eight admin password is admin one two three and click this device as anpr this is important add now this device is add and it will show you online in my case i'm just pretending to adding this device okay so our anpr device is already added now i have to add the video device so i have to add uh, device type video intercom video IP address of it, IP address is like uh, 192.168.1.1. Something like 232. Okay. And then password of this device and add. Okay. So now our two devices are added. What's next? Let's see on the page. Now we have to change the device type for NPR to our access snapshot device so that we can use in parking module interest module then it will be able to see in the park, uh, the device will show up otherwise it will show in the npr module there are two modules different modules for uh, uh, dss client I, I can show you here one is anpr anpr means only npr but we don't want only npr we need to control the barrier and the parking lot so we have two modules for interest module if you want to see npr device if you click interest it will open up 
right now it should not show any device it, it is not showing any device okay because we have already configured this device in ANPR device but we didn't change it to access snapshot device so if we go ANPR it will show the device which is offline here you go okay so how to do deal with this uh, we we will go to we'll go back to settings and we will edit the settings and here the device type is ANPR device we need to change it to access snapshot device so that we can use in entrance module okay now it is changing the settings and now i can if i if i go in pr oh sorry okay. uh, again in pr no it's not showing any devices so clear now i will go to entrance then it will show you device npr you just drag here and it will show you the npr camera here okay now what's the next part now we have already changed the npr device into access snapshot device so that we can use in in uh, our module here is very good cool interface for parking like how many parking space you have how many cars right now in the space and how much is the available space occupied parking and total parking and when occupied parking is free it will show here and this is the real time information of parking so the graph is always rising or decreasing so you can re generate report for weekly monthly or yearly is up to the uh, your scenario and this is the real time statics you can refresh all the time 24 parking turnover parking user ratio Okay, so it's very cool interface. You can go around. We will talk in details when we talk about parking. Okay, right now uh, we go back to our presentation again and see what's, what's the next step. Now, till this step, if there is any question, you can ask me now. Feel free, just ask. Speak up, yes. If you will not speak, I will think that I'm speaking to some dead people. So I don't want to <laughs> feel that. So speak up. Any questions? Still here? Okay. Okay, Okay. no problem. Okay, so let's go to the, our next step. Now we have to add device in our parking solution. We have to bind devices, okay? How we do that, we go back to our DSS client, parking lot management, and we arrange new parking lot. Click here. Now it's asking me the parking lot name. I am saying that uh, parking floor one. Okay, total space is 25. Available right now is available 25, not reserved. So if you want to reserve five places so you can reserve also so you can available space in mark as uh, 20 always entrance release time it should be all period 24 7 hours okay this is the important part zero residential space residual space it should be whitelist vip or all i'm saying that it we want only whitelist to be entered so what will happen is that visitor will auto release is default on will if if you want that any car come it number plate read and it open the door then you need to click this Vista auto release it means that when the visitor car come it will auto release the barrier if you don't then just uh, keep this this way so that you have to uh, uh, go with the video car then the, the visitor has to call from the video to the operator and then you have to open the barrier from here manually okay so uh, if you want exit same as exit if for exit mostly when entrance is car has entered of course it need a free to go to exit right no need for recognition camera on there but if you want exit camera to record the when it is exiting then you need to have uh, this exit camera also but for visitor cars no need so you can for visitor on exit camera it will be automatically controlled with uh, visitor auto release visitor don't need to register number plate again but if you want then he has to press the video again 
to open the barrier and exit. So you, it's up to you and your application, okay? So next part is device adding. We have to add our NPR channel. When we have NPR channel added, we will have to bind it with our parking system, okay? So when we have added one camera, so it means it is asking for driving direction. Driving direction is in or out. If it, this camera is in, then you have to uh, select in. If you have two cameras, then you have to NPR one, NPR two. One for entry and one for exit. Exactly. And you can bind two videos with that. One, uh, one for in and one for out. Then you have to bind the video with it. Video is when you've added video here, then you will show here and click OK. Then it will be showing here. Even some scenarios, you can bind LEDs also. We have LEDs available for parking guidance, like how many remaining, what message you want to display, like welcome, parking is available, please don't enter because parking is full. So this kind of information also we can control from our software. When we are finished, save and exit. Now it's showing you this parking. 80% parking is available. 24, five is the total, but available is 20. When you have uh, uh, available 20, then it will be saying that 100%. Entrance channel one is showing and exit, there is no LED is zero. Okay, barrier is showing one. Okay. So now our, this part is done. Next, what we have to do, we go back again to the presentation. This part we have already done. This we already done. Okay, we missed one part. No, uh, I, I, miss, I didn't miss that, but uh, I wanted to show you the important point first and then the storage. For storage part, how to configure the storage on ANPR? We need to uh, assign the space from the hard drive to the picture for ANPR pictures, where it can store the number plate captures for the record, okay? So we go back to our DSS client. We will have a configuration tab here. We'll open. I hope you are enjoying, not bored. <laughs> I'm trying to explain everything so that you can understand more and more. For here, we have storage option. For storage, if I have like <laughs> almost full so in my c drive if i click here how many space you want to give minimum is 10 gb so you can assign as max as you can go and this is you have to select anpr picture because we are using this storage for anpr results okay so we click it and we click okay and it will assign automatically to the 10 gb to the anpr picture okay so now our storage is configured already. Okay. This was how to configure the storage. Now let's go back to the presentation. Okay. Now, how to register the users? How to uh, add the users into whitelist or blacklist or other options? So for that purpose, we again go back because I'm right now showing you the exact same scenarios you are supposed to do, okay? If I rely only presentation, maybe uh, you cannot understand because right now on big screen, you can see all this step so that you can remember and see. Okay, so now we will go to the main page and there is option for personal management. Here you will register your all register users. So we click personal management, click on add. Now this tab will pop up. Here I will put the ID of the user, maybe one room number if you know where he's living, if it is an apartment solution, maybe I can type the room number 101, or maybe I can say that the building number one hash, uh, unit number one, and then number of his apartment is 101, okay? <clears throat> First name is Ubaid, last name is Masood. Gender, property, general guest, VIP, blacklist. 
here you can select all the type of the information you need to know okay so right now i'm adding it to general general means that no no specific category <clears throat> okay so nickname is anything you want to call it number email blah 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 all settings you have to do one time <clears throat> okay for authentications <clears throat> because video has a card option also so we can have a password option we can have a card option if we have a fingerprint uh, device video we can add here the fingerprint usually if it is enrolled users so we can give them the cards also like if a card number plate is not recognized by the uh, the camera then he can tap the card on the video and it will open the barrier automatically okay so for card purpose we need to give the card from the reader okay so it can show you this and then you you need to go to authorize and here you have to select entrance entrance because you are using for entrance solution so entrance you will select this npr it will show here npr okay okay now your user is created now how to assign this user to the parking management interference we will come back here and vehicle management and add add means that we will add here the number plate for example my car number is leb 33 one two vehicle group is general vehicle okay and the parking floor i am allowing uh, allowing him to go into parking floor one or you can you choose your name whatever your name validity and expiration uh, expiration date of his uh, authorization for the parking and then we go to the personal information personal information you need to click on person name and click here in this tab search here you will be seeing the, the the user you made on the personal management so you choose here at uh, obed which we make right now and click ok then it will take all is available uh, available information the necessary information which we type there company we can type the uh, and how many parking spaces we need to give it this uh, uh person so usually of course is one if it is vip so we can give two spaces maximum and authorization this camera okay save and exit it will show you this this is whitelist car number plate ubad is the owner company this authorization is authorization failed because right now our camera is not connected so that's why it cannot send the data to the camera okay so this is how to add the whitelist or blacklist vehicle from here so that you can get result in the real time scenarios okay now we get go back and see what's next we have add this detail we have authorized we have select the entrance and we already uh, allow the entrance for in pair camera okay then it will show you this uh, personal management uh, when we have configured the person and then we go back to interest we go back to interest and then we create the same uh, parking lot again and assign the camera the the parking and uh, then it will show you the video video need to add it in the parking these steps we already done then we need to go to the vehicle management. Vehicle management, we already add our first uh, number plate, which is Ubed. We will add plate number, personal information. We will search from here, as I shown you just now. Then you can come back to the interest module, live view. Live view, I can show you. Where is the live view? Here is the live view. Now, when the vehicle will come, if the vehicle is in whitelist, which I show you, which I just created, for example, I come now, camera will recognize my number plate and match it with the data. If it is recognized, it will show the detail that bad come and the barrier will be automatically opened. Okay. So if uh, the vehicle has uh, not registered yet, 
So what he can do is he can call to the operator, the call will land here and uh, you can see his information and you can just click the barrier option. This is the barrier option. You just click it, it will open the barrier manually from the control room for Vister. And this record is also managed in our software and the parking will be also used. Then how many cars can go in this parking? 25, because we make uh, parking for 25. Legal access for data record, how to find out the records, I can show you in the real time. This is information query channel, select the channel, select OK, and then search. It will show you the parking entrance time, exit time, entry channel, exit channel. When it comes to the entry channel, when it comes to the exit channel, entry time and exit time. All the information you can export from here. Then you can search also the, the the vehicles right now in the parking lot. So you can search from number plate or you can also from the recognition mode. Remote open barrier, like for example, you don't know any car and your shift is over. So you come and you see uh, remote open barrier, who opened the barriers. So we can search the, that, those number plate which are not registered and uh, open manually from the control room. So we can have this kind of reports, all the reports. And if car is, enter and you don't have exit so you can forcefully exit to from here also snapshot record you can uh, take uh, take all the record pictures from here select the channel and search and it will show you all the result here so go back to the it it will show you the result when you click search it will show you the entrance channel or exit time exit or entrance all the records with this information, video or information, if you are have configured the storage. That was all from the configuration side. I have extensively explained every step. If still you have any confusion, you can ask me the questions. And uh, for the frequently asked question, I have already told you about this, that if uh, I cannot see the license plate snapshot in DSLs, what you should do? You didn't configure the uh, ANPR hard drive, ANPR picture storage, which I configured just now that uh, go to the configuration and set up the, uh, the, uh, the disk type should be ANPR picture. So then you can, uh, you see the records of, uh, uh, when you search, you can double click on the picture, then it will show you the record. Second question is why DSS cannot open barrier remotely? Okay. This is only, this has to do with one thing. You go back to camera settings, BNW list, black and white list means. So check the IP address you have already enabled and uh, you have select the control type to the server type, which I will show you again one more time. Here, you have enabled this order server. Order server means you connect to the DSS. If you didn't select this, it will not open barrier from the DSS Express. So this, is, this configuration is very important. Barrier controls enable other server and input the server IP, click OK and save. Why I cannot see the camera equipment in the parking lot configuration? I just told you that if you, you, you have not selected the ANPR device as access snapshot device, it will not show in the parking uh, module. It will show only on ANPR module. So this, uh, this uh, you need to configure ANPR device as access snapshot device. So it will be uh, available in the parking, uh, parking lot configuration. So that was the solution for today. And uh, this is the end of the solution, but I'm here. If you have any question, any type of question, feel free, I'm here. Just uh, install the DSS Express in your uh, laptops and configure one by one, see the all option. I will give you the printout of this uh, training so that you can learn as a reference. And if I rely only on this presentation, maybe you cannot understand. So I show you some real-time DSS Express, how it run, how it, uh, which option is where. So now you can understand more clearly. 
So it's better you try yourself and I'm here. If you have any issue, you can ask me now. Thank you very much for attending this session. Uh, I hope that uh, this, uh, this will help you to design the solution. It's, it will increase your skills to develop your own parking solutions and uh, entrance exit solution for Hawaii. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.